for a Nigerian farmer, what he will need now to produce his crops, either cereals, legumes, uh, tubers. At Jubilee Agrotech, we have uh, something in general, a uh, herbicide used to control a uh, lot of wheat at different stages. We have uh, the non-selective, that is the pre-planting herbicide. At the first stage, this are the herbicide, this are the type of chemicals a farmer will need at the first stage of application in his farm. They are non-selective, uh, and uh, this one control uh, the wheat of the farm, and it's called fossil. Here, this is what we call fossil, a non-selective uh, systemic herbicide for control of wheat in general, where uh, on a plot of land that has not been planted. So this one is used for uh, land clearing or, or wheat uh, control. And after that, for maize, he will need a selective pre-emergence herbicide. What is selective pre-emergence herbicide? These are herbicides you apply or you use after planting your maize. If you have used the pre-planting, you harrow your land, make your ridges, plant your maize seed, then you apply selective pre-emergence herbicide. Here we have what we call uh, tree maize force. This is a selective pre-emergence herbicide for maize. It's selective. It will not uh, harm the seed. It will only suppress the germination of the wheat, leaving only the maize seed to germinate. But in the case of Nigerian farmers, you find out that there are some farmers who don't want to use pre-emergence. But it's better, it's very good to use pre-emergence. Very soon, Nigerian government has banned atrazin. We have already substitutes for it. It's called three maize force. And then after application of three maize force, after 21 to 28 days, you, ne you notice some wheat competing, uh, growing and competing with your maize uh, uh, crop on the farm. So we have selective post-emergence. This selective post-emergence is called guard force. Guard force is selective post-emergence for maize. And this one, is selective because it would control only the wheat and the farm it select leaving only your maize plant to keep growing and we notice that in the case of nigerian farmers they used to have uh, mixed cropping where you plant uh, maize and sorghum also at jubele agrotech we have what we call corn force corn force also is selective post emergent herbicide that is used to control wheat in farmland where there is uh, where maize and, and sorghum are cultivated in the same uh, a farm. So if you have only purely maize on your farm, you use uh, guard force. If you have combination of maize and sorghum in your farm, you use corn force, depending on what crop you plant on your farm. Then for the uh, legumes, also, at the first, at the first stage of uh, land preparation, you use the same force up. Force up is also used. This one generally it controls wheat on the farm at all level where there are no crops. So you apply it where there are no crops on the farm. So we also have for legumes, we also have pre-emergence. This pre-emergence herbicide is called not force. Not force is selective pre-emergence herbicide for your legumes on your farm. If you have granite, you have soybeans, you have cowpeas. So this one is not force. You apply not force, not force will control the the wheat in your farm it will suppress the germination of wheat on your farm leaving only your leguminous crop to germinate and after germination at post emergence stage you also need what we call legume force legume force is here we have it uh, in one liter we have it in 10 gram so you can use legume force to control it's selective on legumes it's selective because it will control only the wheat on your farm, leaving your granite, your soybeans, and your, uh, your coffee to germinate. Then for ginger, also we have what we call uh, ginger force. But at the first stage, uh, you will need uh, a lamp preparation herbicide, which is the first up to control the weeds on your farm. And after planting ginger, you will have what we call a first urine. This one is selective on ginger at pre-emergent stage. It will control the germination of the wheat and only allow your ginger to germinate. So when your ginger germinates, you will notice that if you notice that there are uh, wheat growing on your farm, for the very first uh, time we have what we call ginger force. Ginger force here control wheat on your ginger farm, leaving only your ginger to to con uh, keep growing and enjoy the nutrients and the soil. So this is the first of its kind in the world. This is the first of its kind in Africa. This is the first of its kind in Nigeria uh, from Jubeli Agrotech. And so for tubers, also 
if you plant your uh, uh, tubers after using the lamp preparation herbicide that is the first of that i have uh, I talked about before at the pre-emergent stage you also need uh, first urine first urine here also is selective pre-emergent herbicide for tubers just as it is in the, uh, in the uh, in uh, in maize, but this one for tubers this time around. And after applying the false urine, your tubers are germinating because the false urine will suppress the germination of the wheat, leaving only your tubers to grow. Whether it is cassava, it is yam, it is potato, so leaving it uh, to germinate. Then at the cost of uh, 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 growth or vegetative growth, you notice some weeds growing, competing with the tubers on the and the farm. So that's, we developed something from Jubilee Agrotech called Tuberforce. Tuberforce here is a selective post-emergence herbicide to control weeds, broadleaf weeds and narrow weed leaf in your, tub, uh, in your, in, in your uh, tuber crop. So this one will control the weed leaving only your tubers to uh, uh, grow. And uh, for the maize, at a point in time when uh, at vegetative growth, you notice uh, fall armyworm attack or infestation on your maize farm, we also have what we call caterpillar force. Caterpillar force here is also an insecticide used to control fall army worm in maize. It will not harm the maize, it, it will only uh, control the caterpillars. Then um, for, the, for the legumes, we have something we call eco seed. Eco seed here is an inoculant. This one is an inoculant, it will help the uh, plants to to absorb nutrients from the soil so that it will have a, a bumper uh, production. And also, um, you know, we notice that uh, farmers don't use to time the rainfall. Uh, when the rain is falling, they apply their herbicide and when rain falls, uh, one hour, 30 minutes after application, it will wash off the chemicals that have been applied. And this will cost the farmer a lot. Uh, to have because he has to do another reapplication of this uh, herbicide. So to avoid this kind of uh, problems, we have something we call cover force. Cover here, cover force here is an adjuvant, is a stigma. When you mix it with your your chemicals and you apply on your crops, it helps the chemicals to stick on the uh, 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 foliage of the crop, so that even if it rains, it will not wash it off away. And by this, we will have. Uh, better absorption of these chemicals and you have better uh, better efficacy of these chemicals on the uh, crops. And uh, also, in the rice farm, <clears throat> we have also selective uh, pre-emergence herbicide. We have uh, selective post-emergence herbicide on rice, which uh, is, is a very uh, first of its kind also. The post-emergence herbicide for rice is called three wheat force. You can apply this three wheat force in your uh, rice farm or with for wheat farmers uh, in Nigeria. You can apply this a selective post-emergence uh, uh, herbicide for wheat and rice as well. So we also uh, notice that uh, these days we have uh, bl uh, blast disease in rice, and uh, Jubilee Agrotech has worked so hard in the R and D department, and uh, we developed something we call blast force. Blast blast force is a very effective fungicide. Uh, that works against rice blast and rice. So by this, if the farmers follow the good agronomical practices, the correct usage of the agrochemicals, and also the proper time of application, the proper uh, dosages, they will definitely get the best uh, yield at the end of their production cycles. So we also we always uh, teach the farmers use the right chemical on the right crop at the right time, and at the end of the farming cycle, you will smile home. My advice to farmers this rainy season is uh, I will advise them to uh, always uh, do the right thing, that is to follow the good agronomical practices if they want to achieve more on their, uh, on their farm, farming activities, because farming now is uh, a business, it's no longer uh, let me feed my family, let me not stay hungry, no. You feed your family, you have enough to store and to sell and do other, solve other problems, health, school fees, and the social uh, uh, amenities. So it is better you do farming as a business, take it as a business. So use the right agrochemicals. When you have any challenges, there are contacts you can con contact. We have uh, our phone numbers written on the label of the product. 
and also we have other technical support lines that you can call uh, 070 6432 for any technical consultancy if you want us to visit your farm to see your, uh, your farm and uh, we we'll advise you on what to do and uh, so that you will you will have a bumper harvest at the end of the production cycle jubilee uh, agrotech is the leading company in africa that produces that has solutions to virtually 99 uh, percent of uh, farming problems compared to uh, other uh, agrochemicals company but jubilee agrotech we work, uh, the run and the department works around the clock for foreign solutions now we have 99 solutions to all farming activity the leading agrochemical company in africa